Right, what are we going to show you today? So we have developed a new auxiliary panel, a switch mounting panel, a power outlet mounting panel for the Land Rover Defender L663. But this will only fit those of us with the small screen. If you've got the small, the bigger screen that goes outside these rails up to about here, you pooped. Sorry. Right. Okay. So this is going to sit in here now. We wanted to make a panel that would sit here but give you access to all the functions um, but also when you're wiring stuff in and that you need to be able to take it out and so this is made from aluminium three millimeters in it is that yeah yep so it's a aluminium plate with a powder coat on both sides um, so it's designed from aluminium it's easy to drill so you can drill and file and do whatever you want to create yourself some extra switches there right um, also, if you wanted to hide things behind here, it would give you a little tricky hiding space, wouldn't it? It's a bit of an odd one, that little space there. So we thought we'd... Right, so, right, you've got to assemble it yourself. We're not assembling it from always, eh? No. no, do it yourself. Defender boys. Right, so we have got this little... This is the nut carrier. Now, there's a little hole at one end. The pointy bit goes in first in the slot. But what you've got to do is you've got to put these nuts in. Zach has designed this perfectly. I was a bit worried they'd fall out, but once you got them in there, they. I was a bit worried you'd just have to do some sort of balancing act, but that's all right, isn't it? Considering we played with it for a while. We did, we did tweak it. Yeah, yes. Right, well, and then you put that in there, and that should, when you insert it, give you some captive nuts. Look, there you go, all ready to go. Now, this panel is going to go on here. It's part of our screen clip mount system. Um, and you can test this. It's got this little bit on the back. So we clip onto the front first, okay, and then you just swivel it round, okay, and that clamps on like so. So you can test that fit, and then to remove it, it's a bit tricky with the panel, but you, there's, you just got to basically twist it the other way, right? Now we did say you could go through there to remove it, didn't we? Didn't we? Yeah. Didn't we push, you can get through. right, okay. So in fact, you have to when you install it because the panel's in the way. Yes, we will show that. I'm, I'm I should have practiced that. Right, so then we've got some nice little self-coloured black Allen head screws, and they should, if we get this right, be nice. And I'll zip that in there. I haven't put my microphone on. I've just left it there, Zach. So. Right, and not to worry. Right, put that on there. Right, and then when, right, you can tighten that up then. There you go, I see, and those little, look at that, holding those. Okay, right now we're all ready. Right, I'll keep my microphone on now, because we might have to go diving in behind here. Right, so the trick is, obviously we've got to now get this on, but it's a bit more awkward now, because we've got all the, all the panel here. Right, okay, so you've got to get that front edge on. There, right, mind my indicator stalk, all my indicators that behind the indicator stalk first maybe it's better down there you go all right that's behind there have I? Oh. yeah i haven't quite got enough room with this indicator stalk he's fighting me i oh, know i'm there i'm there i'm overthinking it there right then and then what you got to do is go in behind here get on that you see I can pull there, okay, and then that just pulls that into position. There you go, and you've got a fully integrated non-rattling panel, and then you could put some extra switches in, or you could put an extra power supply in, or you could put an extra little push switch in, or a series of things, or you could just have it as a blank. So there you go, that is a panel for you to do whatever you like with. Whatever you do with it, send us some pictures and we'll put it on the website. Um, so there we go. Now, left and right hand drive. We have, we have been inclusive in this video, haven't we, Zach? Mm -hmm. So Zach has printed the mirror image of this, but it uses the same plate. Am I right? Yeah. Yes. So left hand drive. Now, we actually haven't tested it on a left hand drive one, but we're assuming Land Rover have done something fairly symmetric, aren't we? So um, if you want to try one of those out, let us know how it goes, you left hand drive peoples. Right, anything else I need to add, Zach? No, there was one thing. Zach was debating when he made it whether he should have done this in this sort of semi-sheen satin finish 
or whether to do it powder coated. We did a Menard, didn't we, Zach? Um, if you'd like it in a textured powder coat finish, let us know. Um, or we could stick vinyl on there, or you can do whatever you like. Let us know what you think. Comments in the video. Good luck. I made that look way more complicated than it needed to be. So basically, you just come in, go straight in behind, then motor back that way to there. And then you can actually just push the panel in the middle and it will click in. And likewise, it will click out. So although you've got that grip on the back, because you've got more leverage than with our other clamp on design it actually clips on there a bit easier than i just made it look in the video not to worry